Hey, yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Raynell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. We back for another vlog, y'all. But check it, it's another episode of Freshwater Tuesdays. Freshwater Tuesday, that's right. So Freshwater Tuesday is me going around Houston and surrounding areas, checking out some freshwater lakes, ponds, and bayous. So today I am in Houston, well, slash Tomball, Houston Tomball, Homball, and I'm checking out the Kikarillo Meacher Preserve. I'm reading, okay? So yeah, this is an 80 acre property with a 40 acre lake by the name of Marshall Lake. Now apparently this lake has like, you know, um, some catfish, some bass, and a bluegill. I don't know what the hell a bluegill is. It sounds good, so I wanna eat it. And also I know probably like January 17th, they're actually gonna stock rainbow trout in this particular lake as well. So I've kind of been driving around, there's multiple ponds. We're gonna check it out, see what we can get into. Is there's an overcast, it might rain. Look man, I can't promise y'all no fish. This is my first time here. I can't promise y'all no fish, okay? Enjoy the damn vlog regardless if I don't catch any fish. Y'all new here, okay? If you're new here, then you need to know that my channel isn't about catching fish. It's about the experience of trying to catch fish, all right? Stop telling me, Renee, when you gonna catch some fish? Renee, when you gonna catch some fish? It don't matter when I'm gonna catch no fish. Just enjoy the vlog. Sorry for yelling. All right, y'all, let's go. All right, y'all, so apparently the fish of Precinct Four Ponds includes largemouth bass, why do I talk like that? We also got the bluegill. So that's what the bluegill is. Are these good to eat? Never had one before, never caught one before. We got channel catfish, of course. Um, and Jason, we got rainbow trout. The rainbow trout are stocked. I'm um, gonna be stocked on January 17th, 2021. In addition to spotted gar, no thank you. Do not wanna catch one of these. Absolutely not. And a blue tilapia. Are these the things that they sell at Walmart for like, $4.99 in restaurants. I heard that tilapia are actually like an invasive species and you're supposed to kill them. Is that true? Hold on, wait. <laughs> well, damn. Check this out. Anyone catching a tilapia, no matter the size, are to remove it from the water and immediately remove the organs of the fish according to the Texas Park and Wildlife. Well, goddamn. If I catch a tilapia, they want me to kill it. Texas, man. Texas is so damn savage. All right, y'all, so the first place I'm gonna try out is this beautiful area. I think I came across maybe like four ponds. Um, so you have this first pier. Careful with these steps of death here. All right. Man, it's really cool today. It's probably like 65 degrees, and 65 degrees in Texas is the equivalent of negative 15 um, in Colorado. Now, the crazy thing about this area is as you know, outdoors as this looks so right now and beautiful. You have a huge apartment complex over there, huge shopping center over there. Then right over these trees is a huge freeway, Tomball Parkway. So like I said, there's hidden spots around Houston that people just don't even know about and drive every day. So the goal today is honestly, I'm not gonna say catch anything because I wanna catch anything but a guard. The goal today is to catch anything besides a goddamn guard. Don't know? anything about gars don't like gars don't like the taste of gars matter of fact i hate everything today that begins with the letter g okay so that's the goal today so let's go getting rigged up and um see what we can get into oh, here we go let's go look at this oh my god y'all i swear i got like the worst look like i'm like curse somebody put a fisherman curse on me period go fishing they said It'd be fun, they said. You know, I don't have patience for this. I know fishing is one of those things that require a lot of patience. However, I just don't have it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally want to throw this goddamn thing in the water and just buy another pole. Like, buy another pole. It's not worth it. I'm ready to quit fishing, like, forever. Like, who the hell cares about fishing? Like. It's never this serious. I mean, I don't got time for this, man. I just don't got time. All right, we're gonna have to cut our losses, y'all. We're gonna have to cut our losses because this, look, look, look at this. Oh my God. <sighs> Somebody please tell the person who says that there's 
nothing better than fishing even if you're not catching bull s okay that's bull s there are better things i could be doing with my life less stressful than this bs i'll get back i still haven't cast yet i still haven't cast been out here 30 minutes and i'm dealing with this i'll be back y'all i'll be back i'll be back All right, y'all, so I just left the pier there, and um, we're gonna try to relocate. I had my bait taken twice, but I don't think it was bites. I think it was like turtles. So the goal today is to catch anything besides a gar, an alligator, or a turtle. Don't know what to do in that situation, ain't trying to figure it out, and etc. So I'm just kind of wrapping our way around this area trying to be very aware of my surroundings because to me this looks like snake city i'm telling you right now if i see a snake vlog is over done finito never coming back all right y'all so i just went down a little bit farther and this spot looks a lot more promising provided i don't break my ankle so let's see here <sighs> checking for any alligator um, prints footprints like I even know what the hell an alligator footprint looked like it can be an alligator dog I couldn't tell the difference anyway but this water looks a lot deeper for some reason um, so we're gonna just cast out over here and see if we can get into anything yeah yeah let's try this spot y'all this is gonna be my new campground I declare this camp Roy and etc all right so uh, pretty much here just enjoying the scenery of the beaches, beautiful Moses Lake although it's cold y'all it's 56 degrees Texans were not made for the cold weather okay now I know people in Colorado and from Michigan in Minnesota are probably laughing at the fact how, how I'm complaining how it's 56 degrees and it's cold outside. Now listen, when y'all be coming down to Texas <clears throat> having heat strokes when it's 85, do you see me complaining? Do you see me making fun of you? No, I don't. I give you some water and keep it moving. So don't be trying to come at me for complaining that it's cold, all right? 56 is cold, goddamn. 56 is the equivalent to negative 37 in Minnesota. Facts. Facts. Pretty sure that if I took a boiling pot of water right now, threw it up in the air, it will turn into snow before it hit the ground. I know it. I know it. I'll do it for the next vlog. Alright y'all, so I've been out here for about three hours now and still no bite, still no fish. And I'm hungry, alright? So sometimes you have to adapt in nature, right? Now many people don't realize this, but there is a fruit that's native to Texas that you can eat in the wilderness called a pine cone. Hold on, let me explain. Many people think that these aren't edible, but check it out. The secret to eating the pine cone is once your tongue stops bleeding, it tastes delicious. Now, that big white bird over there, is that a swan? What is that? It's patiently waiting to strike to catch the fish, just like I. Me and that white bird have a lot in common because we're not catching nothing, okay? Wait, wait, I swear to God, if that bird, it just caught a goddamn fish in front of me. Oh my God. God, what, what? Are you serious right now? You gon' this y'all sit Man, this is some bull Oh my god. Did I just hit the tree? See, this is life. If if 2020 was a real, this is it. If 2020 was a real, this is MF it. Why God? Keep this rooster tail on for now. 
really satisfied with cash right now. Gotta say, I'm impressed with myself. Let's see if I can try to cast beneath these trees without getting hung up. Alright, this, this doesn't look like it's gonna be easy, but if it gets the fish, then. And I got a tree. I caught a mother. Look, look. You know, I think that's it, y'all. I think the vlog is over. The vlog is definitely over. I hate fishing. <sighs> well, it was a rough day on the water, y'all. It was a rough day on the water, but you know what? I'm not gonna let that get me down because we end all the vlogs on a positive note. And the positive note today is we, not me, but we hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel. Clap it up, goddamn clap it up. Yes, thank you all. Thank you all for your support. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it because once again, I have a fishing YouTube channel that doesn't include fish. Don't know why people are subscribing to my channel. Don't know why people are watching my videos, but people continue to do it. I think the theme of my channel is black guy who tries to catch fish but doesn't. And for some reason, y'all find that entertaining, okay? Y'all are literally laughing at my pain. Think I'm lying? My most few videos are the ones where I'm not even catching fish. It's amazing, every single time. So y'all enjoy it. I just need to go home and have a drink or whatever. But positive right now, positive. Thank y'all for the 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for your support, y'all. And let's go ahead and get to 10,000. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. And um, see you at the next one. Should I continue Freshwater Tuesdays? I don't know, y'all. This is, this is rough on my soul. I need 100 likes to continue Freshwater Tuesdays. Smash the like buttons and I'll continue Freshwater Tuesdays and I'll try another spot and I'm gonna be giving up, okay? I need some motivation because I'm not feeling really motivated right now. Leave a comment below let me know what you thought about the vlog. It's been real. See you on the next one. <laughs> what?